Okay, so what we are going to do together is design out this idea of stats for Dorothy. And it's already kind of in progress, so I'm going to walk through the things I've already done, and then we're going to take it further, and I'll explain more in a second. Also, you may be watching this after you watched a video where I was about to design an FAQ, and I realized I shouldn't. Uh, and so this is the follow-up because I really want to design something and talk through it and what I do. And so this is what I'm going to do. It's something I'm definitely going to implement eventually. Uh, and we're going to go through that together. So let's get started. So let's just like show, I'm going to show you what I have already. And you can see that just like some like just ideas I have that I wanted to get up on a screen and see what they look like um, and try out. You'll also notice that if you, depending on when you're used, watching this video, that the dashboard may just look different in general, such as this heading here. Like that's not how it currently is on Dorothy. So this is gonna be a more, it's also gonna be redesigning the dashboard some. And let's go ahead and look at my product design process board and talk about what's going on what and how i'm going to approach this so i'm already started this so this isn't how i wouldn't come to this board after i started it i would come to this board before i've started something and again the video i referenced where i was going to design an faq i came to this board and uh eventually decided to not de design an faq because of kind of the things i have here but also um some things i read online so you can watch that if you'd like all right, so let's look, let's see if I have answers to these questions already. These are things I would like to get questions and answers to before I actually prototype something. I've already started prototyping something, so it's tough to say, uh, like, I, you know, it's, I'm not exactly sure at this point if I'll stop or not, but let's talk, let's see what, what the answers to these questions are. Like, why am I prototyping anyway? So what problem will this solve for our customers? What is the problem? And that problem is, oh, oh never mind internet what is that problem it's people don't know how they're doing on dorothy they don't know if dorothy's actually giving them results and we're talking about this right now but something i've noticed and i've been very hesitant to build out this feature is my customers who pay for it really haven't asked for this it's new users so I've always been hesitant because like I personally don't feel like I need to see stats to see the value in Dorothy and to use it. But I keep getting told by people that are trying out Dorothy that they would like to see stats. And I don't feel like it would hurt me. Like I don't think it's gonna hurt. And my current users, they're not gonna get upset that it's there, but they don't, I don't think they need it. Or my current customers, excuse me but I think I need it for new customers. So the problem, okay, so get back to the problem is people don't know how they're doing. People don't know if they're improving. So how can I do solve that? I've looked at, I've tried to solve this problem in the past and like I just didn't feel like I could come up with stats that help people see that. Um, like it's like how I, how Dorothy works doesn't really lend itself to giving to sh using stats to show that. Um, you'll know if you've like you can't. You'll know if you've improved if you're just remembering these things that you're trying to use Dorothy to help you remember. But I can't really leverage stats that to show that. Um, I can kind of do it, and that's what we'll talk through. But it's not super clear cut. And so that's a big reason I haven't, I haven't really gone down this path. My users or my current customers say they don't need it. And two, I don't really think there's a, a great way to use that stand or to solve those problems. But what kind of changed my mind recently was a user test of someone who was very keen to use Dorothy and was very excited about it. And just like seemed really bothered that there wasn't gonna be, there wasn't any stats. Like they were really trying to find it. And they gave me stats. They, they said examples of stats they'd like to see. And it was stats like I didn't think my users actually would care about. Um, and 
those, like, for example, I didn't expect people to actually care about seeing how many quizzes they completed. Like, I didn't think people care about that, but he's, he did. Um, he also mentioned, like, how much, he mentioned a couple, like, time-based stats um, and, like, his street, like, I mean, things I didn't expect. And so I was like, well, I can easily show that. And, and I don't think it would hurt to show it. I hope it wouldn't. Um, and so my thinking now is I am going to show some stats, even though to me personally, as a user of my own product, I don't feel like it would help me determine whether I'm improving. The only one I could see is this one here, total time spent keeping your answers memorized. Depending on what that number is, which I haven't even checked for myself, um, I guess we could do that together real fast. That'd be kind of interesting. Is... I could, like, if that number is, like, a, a reasonably small number, I'd be like, holy crap, I've been using Dorothy a lot, and I have a bunch of answers memorized, and I've only spent X amount of time to keep those answers memorized. I think that could help a lot. People could see that, wow, yeah, this is working. Like, I only, only spent, yeah, whatever, two hours and 49 minutes of my life keeping a bunch of answers memorized. So I think that one would be helpful. And perhaps this one as well, but like a, a quiz streak, yeah, it's just like a generic like gamification type stat um, and whatnot. And while we're here, you know what? We're gonna actually I'm gonna go through code, and we're gonna actually see what my stats are for um, the total time spent keeping answers memorized because that should be that should be pretty fun. Um, all right, let's go into here. Move my face over here. Um, this may not be clear to everybody, and I'm sure, like, what I'm typing, it may not be clear, and I'm sorry about that. Oh, no, it's just, I know my user number. All right, that's me. So, um, just figure out the total time I have spent on, like, actually keeping answers memorized. So, the amount of time I've spent on um, answering questions during quizzes is what we're going to be looking for. So, I think this is what I want. Okay, yep so many <laughs> um let's see is it already did it there it is okay that's a lot of attempts all right so what i'm gonna do is these are all of the attempt is just like how i store like the actual um the actual time that or i store like the actual like well, the attempt that you made to recall the answer to a question. Um, and I, I store things like the amount of time you took the question multiplier at the time, which is each question has its own unique multiplier. Um, and and yeah, uh, see, see what those, those come out to. So um, let, let's do all of this together. All right, so I have attempts. So I think what I should be doing is mapping out time taken and again i'll flatten it um times cool and i don't i bet you some of these are nil because it's like my app is so old now that like i think i have nils nil values in there but i think i can just do this sure can um all right so how do i do that in time let me just quickly maybe take uh show time and hours um i'm sorry we're here for a design video and i'm put doing code um <laughs> but this is how i work uh all right let's see in minutes to hours distance of time oh there we go distance of time and words okay oh that's like a part of actor but that's a thing i need to import i think that's why. Um, yeah, it's something I have to import. Um, I should be able to find what I need to import by just searching for this. Helpers. Nope, there it is. That's not what I want. Oops. Um, I want distance. There we go. 
That's actually freaking cool. Holy crap. I've only spent what? I've been using my own product for like, when did I get the space repetition system stuff ironed out completely? That was summer of 2020. What's right now? Yeah. Over using it for almost three years. I've only put in a total of about 14 hours of studying. And I have so much memorized now. I mean, holy crap. This is, okay, it's not what this video is supposed to be about. It's me just getting excited about my use of Dorothy. But there we go. That's, it's like, that's like, like why I think that stat will be so useful. People could see like, oh my gosh, that's all, that's only, that's the total amount of time I've spent studying over whatever, whatever span of time. Like, like a lot of stuff I'm memorizing. I mean, I'm not memorizing all of it, like, but I have at least spent some time memorizing questions from all of these. Um, not from these, these, these. It's just like the testing, whatever. This is exciting. Holy crap. <laughs> um, wow. All right, let's get back to what we were here for. Um, so... Total time spent keeping your answers memorized. That is a stat I think that will help solve the problem of people seeing whether it's been useful for them and whether it's working. And maybe using conjunction with a stat like this, which is amount of answers recalled, like how many times you actually did it, like try to recall an answer in a quiz. Or maybe I'll show like what's currently memorized, which we can figure out, like how many questions are currently memorized, or sorry, answers are. Um, a lot of ways to approach this. It's really a matter of just choosing the right stats, but anyway, that is the problem <laughs> um, that I'm trying to solve. And I'm trying to solve it via stats. Again, because people, multiple, many people have said they want this. Again, the, the issue I have is that I personally don't need it and none of my customers have really asked for it. Um, and so it makes it a, it's a tough call of whether I'm, it's not, it's worth building or not. At this point though, I think it is. Um, if I look at the totality of my app, uh, like everything, like I, I don't have high retention. So I can't imagine this hurting my ability to retain people. If it does, I can always turn it off. It's not a big deal. Um, but we'll get to that in a second with these two questions. Let's talk about what customer are we focus on, what type of customer, and who are we solving this problem for? We're really solving it for new customers. Um, existing customers, again, or sorry, not new customers, new users who could potentially become customers. Um, what type of customer you focused on? That keeps changing for the totality of my app as well, but um, at the moment, that's just, we'll just call them learners. Very simple. Um, at the as If I go granular with it, it's really people who are, already understand space repetition and understand um, why space repetition works, but uh, that's not really what this, this isn't just figure out what the type of customers we should have for Dorothy. It's just to figure out who we're solving this problem for as it is for Dorothy. So really solving this for new users. What business objective? Reduce, reduce the actual uh, churn, like get people to get people to stay on Dorothy and try it out. So that's pretty clear. Um, and hopefully that works. How I know if I succeeded. This is a tough one because I don't have enough influx of people, but I I guess one way I could do this is do an A-B test where I show it for some users and an A-B test where I don't. Um, that is not my ideal way to solve this because um, if I'm doing, if I'm solve, looking at that, if I guess I don't have enough users coming in to really be able to do a, a true A-B test. Um, and I don't want to hide it from people because I think I genuinely think people are going to want to see their stats. Um, like, I'm, in fact, I just, I'm gut feeling I, I know they want to. Like, they will want to if they know it's available. Um, even I want to see, like, oh my gosh, I'm just, I just saw my own stat. Again, matter showing the right stats. Um, how I really know if I succeeded, I can't think of a, like a, a quantitative way to answer that. But, if I, I think one way I could do it is once it's out, ask my current customers how they feel about it. 
not not use those words exactly, but do a do ask just ask some good questions to them, and probably run a couple user tests for new users and see how they're responding to it. Um, I think that's how I'll know that if I've succeeded. Right now, I don't feel super duper good about like that this needs to be built, but I, I don't really have like other things that, like I feel like need to be built. Like I'm, it's this weird thing where the people who are already paying for it don't really want anything else. They're very happy with how Dorothy works. So I'm really trying to address retention and getting people to use it and try it out and stay with it. So it's, I'm not solving this for my current customers, which is, makes me feel like I don't need to, I need to work on other things, but like, I mean, marketing or something, but I, I like designing, I like engineering. It's what I'm good at. I'm not very good at marketing. Um, so this one will keep focusing my time on. All right. So even though I don't feel super good about this being the problem to solve, or this being like a problem truly worth solving, I don't feel like it would hurt me. I feel like it, I do feel like it's going to help. I just don't know by how much. And at this point, it's worth trying this kind of, these kind of things out, especially since I have gotten plenty of feedback from people telling me they want it. So it's and it's from people that do seem like they would have stayed or they wanted they 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 were excited about Dorothy but just didn't stay. So maybe this would have kept helped them stay. So. I feel confident it's worth working on. All right, that was a long way to go before we even looked at designs or started designing and stuff. Let's keep going. So um, at this point I have gathered inspiration. I've already done a lot of that. Like I, I, I'm, the reason we have this is because, or designs that are already up is because I have looked around. Um, so kind of where I'm leaning right now is at least starting with a dashboard or sorry, starting like with just basic stats on the dashboard, but not having that show, like show everything, having there be a separate stats page or something. What that will, will require on mobile is a redesign of my footer because I'm already like pushing the limit of what's here. And I really need to, I just have too many things that people need to be able to navigate to. So what I'm probably gonna do is, um, turn this into the three ellipses, like three dots you see, so we can show more and all that stuff. So um, let's start talking about like what this design really isn't telling now. So um, let's create, get a file created. Um, stats dot in stats, yeah, dot MD, whatever. Um, this is how I, I use Markdown for everything. Um, design, all right, let's do this. Uh, all right, so we will be designing a new footer uh, and adding to the desktop header. That's that mean I mean that comes from we're gonna need to be able to link to that here probably. I'm saying that maybe it's not necessary. Um, in my site or in my or how it currently is on my account or everybody's account. You can get to it this way. So there's something already. Um, maybe it links to this. So we don't have to plop it in there, but it feels like it should be its own page. It shouldn't be just something that sits within your profile. Like this is, this doesn't, that doesn't feel like the right spot for that. And so that's the case. It probably should be up here. Um, Let's go draw inspiration. <laughs> That's how I like doing it. Um, Quizlet, uh, what else? I'm gonna go to, I'm just gonna look up on key images. Let's see what we got. Um, these are all like, I guess, competitors-ish of me. Um, what else? What else go? Let me just type in stats, UX, desktop. And Um, yeah, I don't know if I even have stats anywhere. I don't know if this, I don't know if this site offers it or not. Um, achievements. So yeah, maybe, maybe it does offer it in the profile section. 
So maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, all right, that's not what I want inspiration from. <laughs> All right, yeah, I just go to images usually and type in UX and then whatever I'm looking for. So stats on desktop um, and just see what comes up. See if there's any in that like, I like a lot. I kind of like that. What's this? Sim dribble page. Yeah. Okay, so something I'm seeing though is this does appear to sit in like a profile area. And so one, I like how that looks. I could do that. But also like just because I like how it looks, but I also really should do something like this if that's how other sites operate because one thing you should do in design is like don't reinvent the wheel like use other patterns to help to to like so the other pad like use reuse patterns so users aren't confused so that's probably what i'll do actually now that i've seen that um i'll still need to think about the footer i guess i wouldn't link to that though anymore so maybe i don't need to redesign anything there or anything footer um, or header wise. I think though I would move this up. I don't know. It's sitting there by itself. Um, I probably would rethink just how this all this looks anyway. But that's a great start. It makes things easy, especially if I were to, if this becomes like if I, if I drop these over there. So yeah, I like I, I like how that goes. So let's let's go from there. Okay, so I don't actually currently have a profile design, or you don't have I don't have my profile page designed in Figma. So we're gonna do that right now. Um, let's duplicate this and rename it. Oops. Um, that's in the wrong spot. Cool. Let's rename this to, uh, profile stats var one variation one. Um, and we'll need to go ahead. I mean, might as well go ahead and update this while we're at it. Um, where's the main component? Let's go to the main component and we're going to create a variation here for it. Let's bring this, get this out of the way, create a variation where in variant one is the property get main. We'll call this home actually. And then this one call the variation profile. All right. In this one, we're not going to have the nav active here. We're going to, that's going to instead be uh, just variant two. How, how did I do this? Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and also take this, make my stuff a little smaller so that every, you can see everything. All right. Um, this was active. All right. I just didn't build these components well. <laughs> um, I'm not going to overthink this, though. Um, can I get, just get rid of that? I can. Um, yeah, I'm going to just get rid of it. And where is it? Him. Bring it into place for that. Where does it start? There it starts. And we're just going to rename it to home. And I think that's all I need. Of course, this is not the best way to use uh, Dorothy, but that is how I'm, that is, or sorry, not Dorothy, Figma but um, this will get me prototyped quickly enough. Um, where does it start? There it starts where it starts, okay. And then basically all we're gonna do is just get an active state here. This is not even the profile icon to use, so um, that's okay. And I use, I can't remember if I, I, yeah, I use that dark blue. So, well, gotta move this again. <laughs> um, there we go. Dark blue, wonder if I can, increase the yeah I think I can increase the stroke and everything um let's see that up 
two. Cool. Yeah, actually, I'll just that, that's fine. I'm happy with that. All right. So that now, now that's done. Let's get back to over here. Let's go ahead and make this variant profile. Cool. Um. All right. We are going <laughs> to keep looping myself. Um, where can I put this so it doesn't? Where won't I use it much? Maybe here. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, get rid of all the content inside of it. And, or, like, that didn't even help that much. But let's go see how big this is. I don't remember how big it is. Um, this is 730 by 885. Let me just get rid of those. Yes. Show the, yes. Okay. Um, what was my dimension? 730 by 885. Nice. And, oh, I did a text block that is a rectangle. Good. Oh, being silly. 730. Uh, I don't, I already forgot it again. 855. Cool. That was silly. Um, all right, let's get this uh, in the middle. I don't remember the short key for that. Um, all right, this looks like this has, this is 79, I bet, yep, from the top, so we need to go down, no, from this, 76, one, two, three, all right, great, all right, it has white, um, has a, or an effect, a drop shadow, I believe it's always two, four, one, and then, I think this is 15 actually. I believe so. Let me just, uh, it's the same one I use. Where, where, what's this? Where's this at? Oh, it's in the wrong spot. Oh, shoot. I was editing the wrong one. All right, say it, copied it. Let's redo everything. I thought I was in, I thought it was down here. Silly goose. All right, that should be the last change. All right, we're good. Uh -huh. And then I just drop it there. There we go. We're going to name it. Same thing. I mean, this is, you're really seeing how I work right now, how I make silly mistakes like that. Uh, and well, that happens. Oops. Okay, let's make sure I have the correct shadow for this. Where is it? Just get under a row. Yes. All right. Two, four, one, fifteen percent. Okay, that's my standard shadow. All right. <clears throat> let's build this out. Or specifically build out the, this side. All right, so we have a padding of. Uh, Okay, 58 by 64. Cool. Um, this is probably not the way to do, oh, can I do something like this? No, that wasn't it. Oh. All right, so I'm just gonna do a standard rectangle. Let's see, 58 by 64. There we go. And then this is one, two, three. All right. And that's 58 at the top, 64 at the bottom. Is that right? No, 64 on the side, 64 at the bottom. Which means that something is not correct right now. Um, 730 by 85. 58 by 64. Uh, oh, the height. That's the issue. The height is. 
can I find out here? I can't. 733. All right, that solves that. All right, I'm going to add a stroke on the outside and then get rid of this. This is how I can know that I'm working within the border or where I want to work. Um, profile is 16 pixel with a line height. I should have that. Yep. And it's semicolon. Yep. Okay. G border helper. What's the feedback button doing over here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Those back to this semi bold. Okay. All right, get that into the corner. Sixty four. This has a or a line head of 24. All right, so that's good. Let's get these next. Um, how far are we padding wise? All right, so a margin bottom of 36. All right, do these all have the same line height? Font size 16, line height, yep, standard, regular, and it has a different color. My uh, at least six six one, which is roughly a seventy percent opacity. Um, I'm just doing seventy percent now because I'm going to eventually stop using a hexadecimal for this. I'm just going to use the standard black, but with um, seventy percent opacity. <clears throat> okay. Now let's look at the space in between each. Looks like there's about six pixels. Okay. All right. And then there's six of them. And we will rename them as settings notification the stats account plan and contact us. Okay. Now something I will want to do is go ahead and put these all together to a group and rename it to profile links. And I'm going to componentize this and do all that stuff um, so that I can have or I can use um, variants on it. Great. That's super hard to read, though. <laughs> um, it's annoying. Um, uh, how, how do how do you deal with this? Uh, throw a rectangle around it all. Bring it to the bottom. Yeah, that works actually. I can live with that. All right, let's create a variant. Um, we'll always have something chosen, so we will make this one be bold. Good. Does it get a different color, too? It does. I don't really... Oh, that's the dark blue. All right. That's not the dark... Oh, it's that's because of the opacity. Okay. All right, let's uh, componentize this get here. Um, yeah, let's bring it over here into the components library. They're not components library, it's a components group because I don't pay for the library stuff because I'm using the free setting. I don't have that much money to keep paying for monthly subscriptions. All right, it's here. Let's get it over here now. That's probably fine. And, well, I don't need a variant yet. Eventually I will. Not right now. All 
right? Let's get this here, put this here. Let's, does that, yeah, that should be in the group. It should be under here. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, 36. Cool. Except that's not user details. That is profile. Or sorry, that's not, there we go. Yeah, Pro user details. And I don't know if that's going to change in the component we just had. I don't think so. Oh, it does. Cool. Um, all right, let's keep going. Hmm, do I want to throw that into the same? Yeah, I want to. All right, let's go edit it further, make it bigger, or add in the line and the sign up button. And so I'll keep going. This is just a line. How long is it? Slide 93. Okay. Three. The color is the dark blue. That's not it. I keep thinking that's the dark blue. It's some version of gray. Okay. Any opacity? Nope. It has a 24. Oops. Four from the top, 18, or oh, it's 18 from the top. One, two, three, four, six. Okay. And then we have the sign up button with a icon. Let's see. And this will be sign out. And we're gonna add an icon in here. Maybe I just go pick a random icon from here. Keep that in here. Yes. There we go. That's roughly that's almost exactly what I have. So perfect. Come on, where are you at? There it is. All right. Let's uh yep. And then over. All right, let's look at the, the spacing for that. There is almost no spacing. A margin two. There we go, that's fine. The whole thing is actually a good bit smaller. It looks smaller on the app. Sign up. Well, it is sign up. I need to start using consistent language um, for my my uh, first logging in, signing in, signing up, all that stuff. It needs to be consistent. Um, oops, what did I do? And then step up for set. All right, let's get that closer. And that's roughly it. Actually, this is still 24. Good. Sign out link. Okay. Yeah, I can live with that. Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's, I don't have that right. That is the margin bottom of 24. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. All right. That all looks fine to me. All right, let's go to um, go back. Profile. All right, so everything's looking good there. Okay, so now we got the basic set up. That, that text does look bigger. That's not. Oh, it's 20. There we go. All right, so 20, which means that this is 
it's still 36 pixels. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Good to go. Where was I? Oh yeah, I was creating a stats page. <laughs> okay, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is just like it's an idea I have, which is just basically have these stats show up here. So let's start, let's start there. Get this out of the way. We don't need that. All right, so we'll start with I think. How I hand, yeah, that is pretty. No, go down a little further. That's how it should be, though. Yeah, but that's not how it really pairs on the app. And then let's do consistent. It should be like 24. Yep. All right, now where's my border helper? Let's hide this. So, hmm. how much spacing is between these currently? That's not what I want to do. There it is, 96. Should be. Hundred fifty six, so we need to get this sixty pixels wider. Almost. Oops. All right, 71, getting close, 83, let's just manually do this. It's 96, so I need the width to go down to like 416. And I need it to be on this side. It's not muted. Cool. I hope it's not. 83. All right. All right, 426, 64. That's what it's supposed to be. Um, I guess this is what I want. Nope, still going in that direction. Yeah, I want it to expand that way. All right, let's... Uh... Oh, I don't want it to expand that way. Sorry how painful this is. <laughs> All right, 361. And then we're going to move this over by four. All right, 96 finally. Except for now that this is. Man, what am I doing? Yeah, this is my, these are my struggles sometimes. Just getting the pixels right. All right, 64. There we go. All right, this is how it's. What am I doing? I'm gonna keep adjusting it manually. All right, I'm gonna pause while I figure out how to do this the right way. Okay, apologies for that, but we're back. Um,
I guess what I should have done in hindsight is just move this over until it was 96 pixels away from there. Um, but I like to make things hard sometimes so I can learn. All right, so this is what it might look like. And I don't, I don't mind that. Um, it's not bad. And Like it just, it's a, it's a quick, simple thing. Um, but yeah, like if you clicked view more and you landed here, I think that's pretty good. Um, it just, it will matter, it matter what stats I'm showing, what order, all that stuff. But I, that's something I can figure out later. Um, that's a very easy thing to do. Um, Yeah, I don't mind that. I think it looks pretty good. Oh, that's what it, that's what's bothering me about it. It's the white background on another white background. All right, so let's think about how best to do this. Um, what does it look like? Yeah, what will what will this row look like with out the drop shadow, but maybe a that wasn't what I wanted. I'm trying to figure out if I can choose different. Oh, there it is, custom. Yes. All right. Something with a hundred. What does that look like? Um, yeah, I was like wanting a different background or border. Um, mm -hmm based upon which one, or based upon which order you're on. All right, so maybe if this were is like above it, what if instead I just got rid of the, I hit that as well, and then in a frame. So also remove the padding on it. Oops. Zero. Okay, that looks much better. Yeah, that's what I want. Zero, zero, hide these. And yeah, that looks a lot better. Let's bring this up. I'm gonna keep a good bit of padding. I'll keep 64. Um, yeah. Why does it look like the tin is cut off? Oh, uh, it's like the outside thing. Maybe it needs just one pixel of padding. <laughs> just so it doesn't have that cut off. Two pixels, okay, fine. Um, yeah, not bad. Okay, what I, where I'm at right now is, I feel like that's a pretty good stat design. Um, plenty of spacing. I'm trying to think of like what, how I would want to be, better delineate this. Maybe the 
looks like the padding is different between these. It's, and, and this part, I mean. It's 28 here, it's 28 here. No, it's, it's the same. But maybe it could be less. It's 24. Uh-oh, something's not adjusting. Oh, it's that because it's the first one, of course. Yeah. There we go. Looks like that's contained with that. That looks like it's contained with that. Um okay, that's okay. So I've I've gone far enough now where I should be careful, just take a step back and think about what what I want to do with this. So I have already asked one of my users like just questions about this. Um, I got feedback that actually um, this was easier to use and understand, like, and it was preferred. So that was, that's a good, that's something to note. Um, at this point, I probably should run this by a user. Um, see what they say. So more specifically ask, what is this for? And what else would you like it to do? And then see if they can, really this page. This is what I really need to figure out if they, if they can do and want to do. And or like if this is going to be solving their problems, um, yeah, I'm also debating whether to flip these positions. Um, once like this bolding would come, pretty sure I can very easily. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Oh no, can't. Dang it. Um. I guess you need to go to the main component and do it there. Okay, so I'll just flip this, flip this, flip this. All right, let's go back. But with that creating an inconsistency between this, like here they see the stat at the top and then the number, and here they see it above. It feels like when it's in a box like this, it should be like the this whole title should be above the stat itself. But I'm not sure in this case. I don't know if it's even the file design by any means. Um, let me just bring it back. Yeah, I think maybe it'll get solved if I just decrease this padding and then increase the vertical padding to like eight. Oops, that's not what I want. I want. No, no, I want that to be 24. Oops. Right, yeah. And then I want the padding to be reduced. On these, or increased on these. That, so that's a 10, but that was 60. Nope, I don't want that to be increased. I want that to be decreased. So maybe six. Yeah, that's better. And go back to this, get to 28. Okay, now I feel like they're, they're where they should be. That's much better. Okay. Um, yeah, at this point, I feel like I have a good idea what this stats page might look like. Something I would like to think more about is like having it again, or like how the stats would look at, in the profile page. Like, I would like to think of how the stats would like to look, how might they look on their own page? Like as you, like where they can show more detail, have more options, that kind of thing. But it might be better to pause 
and run this design by a user. And yeah, I think that's probably the way to go here. Um, my hesitancy is that this is, it just, it's not complete yet. That's my hesitancy. Um, but, or I, I don't know, not completely, I don't know what it is. It's just some, it doesn't feel good enough. Um, and one thing I like to do is basically get to a point where things feel good enough. Um, Uh-oh, well, this video's gonna end in 10 minutes because I'm running out of free time. Um, don't I have that written down somewhere? Maybe it's here. Yeah, and not to start working on the solution. That's what the problem. Um, um, I find the word good enough. Whatever. That's where I'm at right now. I'm I don't feel like I'm good. It's good enough. Um one thing I should ask though, is this an improvement over what's already there? Yeah, I think so for sure. Um I can always I'm not committed to this forever. If I find that the stats are working well, I can create a known stat page, which would be much more to do from an engineering perspective. It's way easier to do this from an engineering perspective, just throw it into this rather than having to redesign the profile, the, or like redo the whole, um, not profile, the header, the footer, all that stuff. This would be easier engineering. So that's worth considering. Big consideration. I feel like this, yeah, I feel like this is enough. All right, then we're gonna stop the video now. Or stop right here and I'm going to run this by a user, get some feedback, and go from there. Um, when we get back, I'll probably explain what I what information I got and then decide whether this is good enough or not and whether we should start building it or not. So that is all for now. Thank you for watching. And I, oh I say thank you for watching. This video is gonna be good it's gonna be a, a video all smashed together with other videos. But thanks for watching up until this point. Okay. Hi, I'm Jordan. Thank you for being here. Hi, Jordan. <laughs> um, okay, so I want you to... Um, imagine that you are a Dorothy user, because you are. And you want to know if you are making progress and if Dorothy is working for you. Try to use this page to figure out if that's happening and click anywhere that you think may help you learn about whether you are improving or if Dorothy is working for you. And just tell me what you're thinking. What are you thinking about right now? It is helpful. Mm -hmm. What's helpful? Uh. But I see that you can find how many answers you got memorized but you can 
see uh, the number of questions. The number of questions Dorothy asked. Just the number of quizzes. What do you mean the number of questions that Dorothy has asked? How many questions? Uh -huh, because you have this number. You have the number of answers correct, but not the number of, an of questions asked. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it would be helpful to know this number, but from which start? And by start, you mean that the number of questions. Okay. Uh -huh. It's just I think this is new. I haven't seen this before. Mm -hmm. So based upon this, are you making progress? Yes. What makes you think that? So I got... Um, I got 112 correct answers. in just two hours. Hmm. And is Dorothy working for you based upon Yes. This? Why is I that? Sp I spent just two, hour two hours and a half and I already memorized 112 answers. What does memorized mean to you? To be present in my memory easily. Okay. And of these six stats, which is the most important to you? I think these two. Total time spent and answers memorized? Currently yes. memorized? Okay. What is one stat that I'm not showing that you would like to see? The number of questions asked. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I can compare with mm -hmm. the correct answers. Yeah. Based upon, what do you mean, sorry, I want to come back to that. What do you mean confirm with the correct answers? No, not confirm. Compare. Compare, okay. So you'll, you, okay, so for example, the, the questions, like what might be uh, an example that you would like to see? Oh, we've been asking you, like, 360 questions mm -hmm. in four days and you have already answered 112 and correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and is it important at all for this to show you exactly what answers you have memorized? Do you like, as in seeing a list of those answers? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I would like to see that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And based upon these icons, what do they mean? What does this icon mean and what does this icon mean? This means a list, and this means 
you finish something. Okay. Um, and based upon this page, is there anything missing? Well, I think if you are, oh no, I get it, no. No, this is what you accomplished and yeah, I, I get it. But is there anything missing? Anything else that needs to be here? The number of questions. The number of questions, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, probably the list of answer of correct answers. Mm -hmm. I think I would know, but it would be easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how does this one is just because I'm curious what it does this um how does this look? How does this make you feel? Good. But I prefer the other one. <laughs> you mean this symmetry? That one. This, this one? The symmetric uh -huh. That's you're not talking about that one? Oh uh, yeah, that one. <laughs> um Okay, I think that is it. Thank you for coming in today. You did excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you just watched that user test and um, these are my conclusions from it and what, I, what, what I'm drawing from that. So um, a few things is you notice some of the questions I was asking. I was trying to figure out uh, really if this is gonna solve the problem that I'm trying to solve, which is help people figure out if they're improving and if Dorothy is working for them. So I, I led with those questions, then asked if she could use stats to determine that. And uh, one nice uh, hypothesis, I guess, which was how important this question, this part was to me was also very important to her. Um, I, I figured that out before I asked the question, is, what's, what's the most important stat? And she pointed to these two as being the most important. Um, so that was a that was a nice hypothesis. Now it's worth noting that um, that English is not our first language, and so something that's really uh, helpful in these situations is if she can figure out what's going on despite not having English as her first language, then I probably am learning things well. It's probably understandable. Um, if she doesn't, it's not necessarily a horrible thing or a bad thing. It doesn't mean it's completely off, but I, it does not really it's she won't it won't give a false positive um and so in, in this case i'm i'm feeling or sorry and based upon that i'm feeling that she was able to figure out what almost every one of these meant with the exception of this one um that was that, that was helpful to see which is not no not figure out what it meant but like it was um i expected it to mean something else i expected it to mean which she does kind of confirm this later, um, is how many you have memorized, uh, which she does figure out. But um, she also thought that meant something a little different. So I'm going to think about how to maybe word this slightly differently and potentially uh, throw an info icon around and explain it in more detail. I do plan to have info icons, though, on all of these, um, or at least most of them, to give more information. Um, one big thing I did learn also was that it is missing one stat, which is um, something I've had before, which is the, uh, she, she had, had it as the question she was asked. So I'll try to use that language, but also I thought of it just how many times you've, how many recalls you've done basically, how many times you try to recall the um, answer to a question. So I'm gonna uh, squeeze that in probably. Um, something that was nice that was brought up which wasn't even a potentially part of it was i just i just started thinking like why not ask about the icons and it was interesting to see what she thought of them um my conclusion from that is um i'll definitely try to change these out i just threw these in. i didn't think much about them but i'll probably change them a little bit to something that maybe is more clear 
or I just use text as a title instead of this because um, she has iterated twice now that she actually prefers uh, this look to a much just a, a sim even simpler look. So I might be going to something like that. Um, I'll spend more time on it, but anyway, biggest conclusions I drew I drew from this, which was um, these two stats are the most important. Um, I'll add that new one in about how many questions were asked. I'll need to reword this and say it, or explain it a little differently. Um, it's I think it does help you figure this does help you figure out whether Dorothy is working for you, but maybe not as clear whether you're making progress. So kind of kind of got half of that. I feel like done well, but I'll, I'll want to rethink how how to make it show that you might be improving um, in general. So those are the conclusions I drew from this, and we'll uh, we'll we'll start making edits pretty soon. Okay, thank you for now.